Hey guys, so I'm here today. I'm going to be telling you about the products I've been using for this week. And it's like the Shop My Stash, and now I'm going to be doing an updated Swatch My Stash. And I might call it like Fails and Holy Grails or stuff like that, but it's still in the process. So I'm just going to name it something generic. So let's get started so you guys know if I liked all the products and stuff I've been using. Honestly, it kind of gets boring using the same products for the whole week, but it feels good because you know you're getting through them. And I actually did get through an eyeliner. So I feel very accomplished. So then, like you guys know, if you watch the Swatch My Stash, I use this Becca Backlight Priming Filter. And look, I made like a good dent in it now. And then I use the Fenty Beauty Foundation. Um, I keep forgetting to shake it, but I mean, it still looks good on my skin. So whatever. For primers, I use the Becca Evermatte Poreless Priming Filter. I've had this for a very long time. It lasts forever, so I think it is very worth the $36, $38. Because look, okay, when I push it all down, look, it's still not even like halfway. So that's awesome. So this will last me for a very long time. And then I use the Smashbox Photo Finish Hydrating Under Eye Primer. This is almost gone, but it still isn't gone yet. So I'm going to be using it next week as well until I finish it. I would not recommend this. It really does nothing for your eyes, in my opinion. And then I've been using the MAC Paint Pot in Soft Ochre. Um, this is almost done. It's getting kind of dried, so I want to use it again for next week because I'm sad and I don't want it to all dry out before I can finish it. I use the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. This is just about done. Do you see this? It's like right here. I'm super excited because this is the first concealer I've bought and I've never finished a full concealer before and I'm going to try to use it again next week as well so I can try to finish it up. The next one I have is the Physicians Formula Eyeliner Booster. I finished this up. It's super dried now and this did me well. Lasted a pretty long and I did my eyeliner today and I really liked it but I do know it's done with so finish this for this week which is awesome. The next things I have for brows is the e.l.f. brow pencil and the Maybelline one. I do like these. Like, my eyebrows kind of look a little dark, a little darker than usual, but it was kind of nice for a change. As usual, they don't look the best, but I just do whatever works out that day, so I do kind of like these. I don't know about this. It's kind of, like, too waxy for me, but this is super nice to, like, fill it in, but these aren't my favorite pencils to use, but I use them so I can try to get through them. For mascara, I use the Voluminous Lash Paradise, and I love how it's pink. It's so hard to get off, though, so I have to, like, use a cotton pad to get... It off with makeup remover and then I have to go with my cellar water and then I can get it off but yeah I feel like it's kind of drying out like it doesn't feel that heavy anymore and I haven't used it that long so that's kind of questionable but I do really like this and I love the pink packaging the next thing I use for this week is the hourglass ambient lighting powders I do really like these I think it does make my skin look super pretty and airbrushed so I'm definitely gonna be keeping this I got it in like my Sephora haul thing for the Sephora VIB sale and I do like it and guys I checked out the volume 3 palette in Sephora the other day and it's like so much smaller than I imagined and I'd be so disappointed if I got that I'm so happy I got the big full size one instead of the small ones and then it was just like so small like I thought it was way bigger than that so super excited that I didn't buy that the next thing I use is the Pro Contour by Pro Fusion. I really love this, actually. All the powders are super nice. I use these two to, bad flash, I use these two for my under eye setting powder, and then I used it on my eyes as well, just to like set in the MAC Paint Pot. I use this to contour, the mirror, I use this to, you can see my little pajama pants, I use this one to contour and then these two to bronze with and I did mix these two a little bit as well because this one's a little dark but I did really like this and the powders are so smooth which I love and this was literally six dollars. Okay and then the next thing I use is the Berry's BYS eyeshadow palette. This was awesome. It still has that scent which I do not like. But this was super nice, and I'm wearing it again today for the last day I'm wearing it. Because tomorrow I do not want to wear makeup because my skin is kind of having a weird irritation to something recently. One of the pants just fell out. Oh my gosh, this one just fell out, but it's okay. Put that back in there. Okay, so hopefully that doesn't fall out. I'm just going to shut this. And if it does fall out again, I'll just put glue under it and stick that back in there. But I do recommend this palette. It's really nice. And it honestly lasts me all day. Like, I cannot imagine a $6 palette doing just as great as 
a $45 palette. And I think the shades and stuff are super nice. I haven't even noticed that I missed two of the shades in the Anastasia one. So I think if you really like these colors, I'd pick this up and get your use out of it. Six bucks and make sure it's on sale. It's at Shopco. I don't know who else carries it, but when I bought it, it was at Shopco and on sale. So it's probably still on sale by now, honestly. The next thing I've been using for this week is the Blush Bazaar. I figured out the name. It's not Blush Circle Palette, but it's by Tarte, and I really have been loving this. I haven't been using the highlighters that much because, I don't know, they're just not that stunning to me, but the blushes are amazing, and I'm definitely going to get my full use out of this palette. It was definitely worth the money, and you get so many shades to choose from. I might rip off this flap. It has been helping because the things haven't been touching, but it's kind of annoying, but I do really love all these shades in here, and it's getting me more so bright it's getting me more into different colors of blushes like this pink one I usually don't use this pink of blushes but it was nice but my favorite shades in here are like these super neutral colors like these two right here and then I really like this dark one right here but the other ones are fun to use and I haven't really been using the highlighters that much they're just like not that pigmented which is kind of sad like look at that you barely you can't even see it yeah, so that's why I've been using. So I chose this highlight because it's way more pigmented than the ones in the Tarte palette, but I love this. It's super pretty. You can't even tell it's purple, so I really love this. And it's a Becca highlight, and you know I love Becca highlights. So this is super fun to use throughout the week, and I really do like it. Like here, you can't even see that swatch, barely. So let's swatch this one. Like literally, look at that. It's so pretty. And then the last oh, oh then the lip product I used was the Ofra Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick. I have it on right now and I love this so much. It's not drying at all and it stays on pretty long and I really do like this. I want to get a few more shades but I'm kind of stopping buying lipsticks because I have so many and you guys know I don't wear it that much. So I might not, but I really do love this and I recommend getting this. And then lastly for setting spray, I've been using the NYX Matte Finish Setting Spray. And I really do love this. It's a nice little bottle. It does really prolong the wear of my makeup and it keeps me matte and I really do love this. So I have been just using it and it's worked all day. So I just really love this and would recommend trying it at least. Wait till there's coupons again at Ulta or something and then snatch it up. So guys, I hope you guys liked watching this. I also want to let you know that I'm not going to be doing Swatch My Stash for a while again because... I have all these new palettes and stuff I want to use before the new year because I want to get some reviews up and stuff like that. So I'm going to start it for the next year, I think. And then next year, I also want to start like a get ready with me Saturday morning stuff. But we're still waiting for that. So that's still brewing in my brain. I hope you guys liked watching this and I'll see you guys later. Bye, guys.